But let's look for a moment at the environment in which Numsa is uh, expelled from Kusatu and the courts agree that that expulsion was valid. In that situation, you seem to be unlikely to see what some of the conventional uh, reporting seems to think you're going to see, which is a Kusatu over there minus a metal union uh, and a metal union over there minus Kusatu. Uh, that is about the most unlikely outcome because uh, and this has become apparent and it's, it's made it into the media, etc. Uh, the Kusaitu group, which won NUMSA out, realize uh, that to have a major trade union federation without representation in the metal and auto industries uh, is, is, is not tenable. It's, 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 it's almost laughable. So they, they have a plan B. And the plan B, of course, uh, comes in the person of Cedric Pina, the former uh, president of NUMSA, uh, who has uh, who, who left uh, briefly and who is forming uh, something which originally was going to be called the Metal and Allied Workers Union, which is no mistake because that's where NUMSA comes from originally. Uh, but I gather that they're tinkering with the name. Uh, more important uh, for our purposes, uh, that union will attempt uh, to take uh, NUMSA members. Uh, and to keep them within Kosatu. Uh, and it will succeed to some extent. We don't know to what extent, even if it's 5 to 10 percent. It's highly unlikely that all 340,000 members will go one way and naught will go the other way. So you will have some sort of metal union within Kosatu. However, what may also happen is that within all the Kosatu unions, you could have sections leaving their union. And I think that we will have uh, a situation in which those splits within unions will lead to a situation in which there will be uh, workers within most of, if not all, of the industries currently organized by society unions uh, who will be interested in moving over. Uh, and uh, the result of that, of course, is that you will have two union federations competing with each other for the workers who currently belong to Kusati. That means that whatever, what, whatever happens within Kosaitu, uh, and it becomes then a matter of degree, we are looking at a situation in which uh, there will be much more competition between trade unions than there has been in the past, and much more open competitions. And, and obviously, that creates a far more turbulent environment in this industry. It creates a far more turbulent environment in other industries. Uh, and you don't need me to tell you that if you have uh, Mr. Greener's union competing with NUMSA for members uh, in the industry, uh, that you will have more turbulence. Uh, trade unions are likely to up their demands. Uh, collective bargaining is going to be more difficult. And I think that that is uh, a, 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 the likeliest reality. Uh, as I say, it's a matter of degree. If there is a split in Kosatu, then uh, I, I think one can be fairly confident that uh, we will go through this turbulent period. Uh, I think that if Kosatu somehow uh, is patched together, uh, there will still be turbulence, although perhaps not as dramatic or, or not as visible as if there is a split.